What's up everyone? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. As promised, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the saltwater mixing station. And the audio is over the camera. It's real-time stuff, no voiceover, so it might be a little shaky, kind of not as clear as the other stuff. But I wanted to get this video out uh, because it has been a little bit. So, alright, so first thing you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transfer water over to the blue barrel. So the first thing we need to do is open up either one of these valves to transfer water. So we're going to do the bottom one. Alright. Then you're gonna come over here and make sure that the blue one is closed, obviously, so that it doesn't come back out. And then over here, these are the two um, valves that I can use to move water out of the system, so you just wanna make sure those are closed. And then come over here and open up this one. Now you can hear it, it does gravity feed a little bit, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug the pump in to kind of speed the process up. and let that fill up. All right, we just got done filling the barrel to about 52 gallons, I would say. And it is spinning a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed when I was filling up, it uh, actually comes in at an angle, which, help, which helps with that uh, spinning, mixing, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you can hear if it kicked on or not, but the RLDI is kicked on. What do we got going here? Eight TDS coming off, seven TDS. It does go down to about five once the system's been on for a little bit. And then of course zero after the membrane. Pretty good PSI. Yep, so that will go ahead and fill up the bottom barrel. Now we're gonna go ahead and use water from the top barrel to top off the ATO container for the frag tank. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we've filled up the blue barrel and we're gonna go ahead and top off the ATO container. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that all the valves are closed to the blue barrel. So we're gonna go ahead and close that one, make sure the bottom one is closed. And then we're gonna go ahead, uh, since this is filling up, we're not gonna use this bottom barrel. We're gonna go ahead and use the top. So go ahead and turn this. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and turn this one on, which then obviously controls the hose there. And then we'll go ahead and plug the barrel, uh, plug the pump in. All right. All right, it's gonna fill up. It is pretty slow just because I am using a a half inch hose. I will be upgrading probably, um, but I mean, it just takes a little bit longer. I should put a three quarter inch on there, but uh, yeah, it's good for now. It's what I had laying around. All right, the next thing I want to cover real quick is making salt water. So I'm going to go ahead and add this heater, and then we'll plug it into the outlet there, and then of course add the salt to this barrel. And when it comes to mixing, you're going to go ahead and open up the bottom barrel, and then obviously keep these closed. You don't want to shoot water out of this and then open up the side one. All right, so when it comes to kind of saving the RO membranes, I like to pull as much water out of the system as I can at one time. Basically emptying these barrels with between auto top offs and setting up this one for the water change so that I don't have to do that today and say tomorrow, do another ATO, another ATO, and just kind of have the system kicking on and off all the time. It's good to just do it all at one time. That way the RODI membrane goes through and fills up the barrels and then just turns off. So it's not this on, off, on, off, on, off, because you get this high TDS creep in the beginning, which will burn through the DI membrane. Uh, and uh, I kind of want to save on DI. So that's what I do to do that. And uh, yeah, works out good. System is pretty clean and uh, it's a lifesaver, trust me. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let this fill up. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the saltwater mixing station, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you later.